You know how disliked the Star Wars Transformers were? They've got nothing on these, I'm telling you. Animorphs was technically the first Transformers crossovers line Hasbro ever did. Most seem to forget that, admittedly for good reason. Animorphs is a book series by Catherine Alice Applegate. The basic premise is that five teens acquire morphing powers to fight an alien or Yurk invasion. You had the books, the TV show, and of course the toys, the package bios of which actually feature a recurring quote from the books. My name is, huh? My name is, what? My name is, chicka chicka. Insert name of kid here. On some level, I can understand where this line came from. Morphing is technically a type of transformation. But make no mistake, it tanked hard. And you'll see why. Each of the main cast, save for Rachel, got multiple toys in this range, unless you count those Taco Bell tie-ins. This version of Marco turns into a gorilla. Now, to be fair, most of the beast modes actually look pretty nice, this one included. It's not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but compared to what's to come, it's actually halfway decent. As gorillas go, it's bulky, it has clearly defined pecs and abs, the gorilla hands and feet are well sculpted, not to mention etched hair all over the place. It's not bad. Though I'm guessing Marco's seen Beast Wars and is taking cues from Primal by constantly standing upright. Okay, gorillas can walk bipedally where necessary, but that's all Marco can do. Because of those thigh covers, he can't pull off the more appropriate knuckle dragger pose unless you rotate them out the way, and even then he can't look up. A lot of the joints are surprisingly restricted in one way or another. You'd think he'd be more poseable than this. If you're wondering why the right fist is shaped that way, this is the only Animorph to come with some kind of handheld weapon, this chain or whip. These days I try to review complete toys, but trust me, this won't make a bit of difference. And all the deluxes came with those translucent yerk bugs in different colours. I have no idea what they're for, assuming kids didn't try to eat them. Marco's transformation is partially a striptease. I wish I was kidding. First, you pull off these gloves. Then you... Cut it out! Then you... Pull off... These... Pants. And the rest is your typical transformation. A few flips, twists and turns, and you're done. Sadly, that's the fatal flaw of this line. Anyone who's read the books or watched the show will know that Animorphs don't do that. They don't part shift like the robots do. The body essentially stretches into the shape of an animal right down to the skin, bones, cells, muscles, and organs. It's less painful than it sounds, but as you can see, eyes are still eyes, limbs are still limbs, that's how it works. Toy technology is not that advanced yet, so they had to go back to basics with these. As such, we end up with what at best could be referred to as mid-morph modes. Humans in torn clothes, with so much fur and animal parts still visible, and more often than not, tiny little pinheads on top of bulky bodies. Is this what personal training does to you? Not to mention, you lose any of these parts and this toy is a lost cause. If it wasn't already. The head somewhat resembles Boris Cabra, who played Marco in the live action series. I don't know if these are meant to be show accurate. It's kind of hard to tell, or care, when the rest of this looks like a half a cosplayer. Articulation is pretty much the same as before, and judging by his left fist, he can hold the chain slash whip here too. Seriously, how many fetishes do they cram into this thing? Finally, these have their own version of the mutant head gimmick from Beast Wars, in this case, a mid-morph head. You know, if they ditched this feature, this line probably would have been better. Despite all of this, I'm still reluctant to rate this not recommended, because frankly, this line was doomed to fail from the start. The Animorphs concept cannot be done in toy form. Not like this, anyway.
If this was a transforming robot, like a pre-Transmetal 2 Optimus Miner, it'd be a whole different story. But as is, this and almost every figure from the range comes off as incredibly tacky. If you're insanely curious, you might be able to find a few of them cheap online, but don't hold your breath. Knock it off! <laughs> <laughs>